Hello, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome to episode 100 of the FIFA 20 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. Triple digits. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We have hit our 100th episode of the series. Madness. If you enjoy, do me a huge favor. Hit that thumbs up button. Let's go for, I don't know, like a huge like target today for episode 100. Can you get 5,000 likes? Uh, I know that's a big ask, but uh, if you guys can do that, you'll make me very, very happy. And don't forget, to, of course, to subscribe to the channel if you are new and click that notification bell. Become part of the notification squad. So, this episode will be... Fairly similar to others, to be fair. It's not like an overly special one or anything. But please note that I am uh, I am still editing up uh, the highlights of about 30 hours of the, the first 100 episodes. Basically, I'll do like a the story so far video um, of episode 1 to 100. Uh, and I'll do that for you for like Christmas Day. Um, and as, as we're like a week away or under a week away from Christmas now, maybe it will kind of be like the story so far from episode 1 to 106 or whatever it will be. Um, but yeah, so I'll do that for you for Christmas Day. Uh, it's just... Uh, I'm basically looking at uh, the videos over and over and trying to crop out the best bits from literally 30 hours of footage. It's a little bit long, to be honest. Um, so, But we'll get there in the end. So I'm going to get my first footmas item today. Now, it's one that expired. It, it was uh, it was like Monday's or Tuesday's one. But I did it with like a very short amount of time left to go. I ended up getting myself Marillo because, for well, for what I hope is a, a valid reason. Now... This is a very, very solid looking centre back from the Serie A, which is a league where I don't have a whole bunch of amazing stuff at my disposal. So I feel like for first owner objectives, this could be a kind of like a vital uh, or a very useful player. Um, it means that one of our centre backs is covered. You know, we're obviously going to bring on three substitutes where we can, um, but this is, uh, you know, it makes this a little bit easier for us uh, if we've got a good solid centre back in the team. So you'll see him uh, coming, making his way into like my reserves. Probably won't even make a spot on the bench for now. He's not going to be like a main team player. That's uh, he's just not going to be that. Um, because he's very difficult to link. He's Colombian from Serie A, so he doesn't have many great links. However, this is someone that can definitely be a part of my Serie A squad. And we'll put him into the Serie A squad as well right now. And you'll be able to see roughly what uh, what we've we've got going on. I also need to put my phone on do not disturb mode. Because I don't want that to keep beeping throughout the episode. Apologies for that. But yeah, Murillo. Look how solid he looks, man. 77 acceleration, 80 sprint speed. I think that's good. Uh, and the, the defending, the physical, the, the dribbling stats. He's got like really good agility and balance for a centre-back, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and now this is what we've got now for our Serie A team. So... You can tell why I did it, right? Because, yeah, we've got Juan Jesus and Allen, but they're not first owner. Uh, Perrin, the left back, the right back, uh, alone Mertens. Yes, Lautaro Martinez is, is, is first owner, but um, we're kind of struggling to get together like seven players, which is what last Icon Swaps wanted. So uh, you never know when uh, if that will be the same. I kind of hope it is the same just because I've done the SBC for him now. Uh, but a bit pointless otherwise, but you know, uh, it is what it is. So that's the first special item coming on in to uh, today's episode and coming on into our club. Uh, we are going to get another special item, which is of course my storyline player for hitting level 30. And that's what we're playing a few games for right here uh, to try and make that happen. As well as of course, trying to get Tiago Mendes footmas item, trying to get some of those objectives done as well. Uh, which is why you might notice throughout this episode that my Roberto Carlos is playing as a left cam. Uh, I bring Griezmann off and I bring on like Ede Militao uh, in defense, put him left back uh, and then basically put uh, Roberto Carlos in the in the wide cam spot because one it was going to get me an assist with a defender which if I did that uh, would definitely hit me over the the level 30 um, threshold and then also uh, if we could get a, an assist or a goal with Roberto Carlos that's a Brazilian so it's it's like something more helpful I'm trying to put more Brazilians in my starting 11 uh, or further up the pitch so uh, if we get uh, assists or goals with them, we need one of each in like four games. Then uh, then that's obviously going to help us out for Tiago Mendes. So that's the plan anyway. 
We end up equalizing against this guy. Uh, sorry, he equalizes against us after we went 1-0 up. Uh, and this was from a session which I I really struggled in. Uh, just, I don't know what it was, but Rivals was just driving me up the wall. Uh, I've since had a better, like you'll see towards the end of this episode for some, some other games that we played. I had a much better run and things were just way nicer, less toxic, less... I don't know just less sweaty um, however like this session right here I just could not get a game which wasn't so difficult and uh, basically I, I, lo you know, I lost this guy I think oh no he didn't recognize me he just said if that's a road to glory GG's and it is a road to glory yeah, so thanks <laughs> I appreciate it I'm pretty sure his team was as well so if that's the case he had a very nice team for an RTG as well no doubt about it uh, but we go into another match here this time we're up against that Footmas in Yaki Williams decided not to do him. Uh, I probably should have done Cavani, but I literally just don't didn't have the funds or the players in my club to make him to make it happen uh, because that is kind of like a cheap 89 and a good like league un first owner. I don't think he's that great though, and we do have that. Uh, Osimen, the player of the month uh, card at striker. So uh, I think we might be nearly settled for League 1. We've got a fair few players. I'm basically just starting to think about first owner players. Um, but if EA make the SBCs too expensive just because of the first owner like thing that they've implemented this year, then I'm not going to get baited into that and to, to do the SBC just so that I have it. Um, I want to obviously make sure it's someone that I think could be beneficial to us in the long run and isn't overly expensive. Like that Murillo for 40 to 50k with the stats that he's got. I think he looks like a, a fantastic centre-back and uh, you never know uh, at some point during the year where I'll actually find a good use for that. Uh, the other player that I'm looking into getting my hands on is, uh, of course... Diego Carlos, who, I think that's his name anyway, uh, the Brazilian centre-back for Sevilla, who has a road to the final item, and it is still out, of course, for a, for a few days in SBCs, and I'll get there, don't you worry about that, um, yeah, uh, I, I'll, I'll try and do that after rewards when I actually have a few more coins again. So we hit level 30 in season 2, which, uh, Whew, that, that was close. We left it with a, a day or so to go, and uh, I I choose my player here now. Now, I don't know if you guys have, have got a clue of who I, who I was going to go for. You guys particularly wanted me to get Oxley chamberlain because apparently he's very good, um, but I think I'm a little bit more covered in the Premier League than I am in other leagues. Danilo at right back would be very beneficial because we do have a poor Serie A squad. He would be uh, obviously be very, very beneficial to that. However, Gelson Martins is the one that I'm going to choose because I'll show you he fits perfectly in to a little spot that I've got in my league on squad, which basically gives me a very solid league on uh, first owner squad. And he looks awesome. 97 pace, 89 dribbling. And that's 98 agility, 95 balance, very good dribbling, five star skills. You don't often get players like that for free essentially you know we worked our way through it of course but uh he didn't cost me anything did he apart from time so there you go he fits perfectly into my french league gun uh, there are seven first owner french league gun players in this in this squad right here uh, and obviously then we have like neymar and roberto carlos and i think we even brought in a couple of our other defenders um but if you think about starting this squad here and then maybe we upgrade and get the full Thiago Mendes. You know, obviously we're trying to unlock that. And that will happen uh, in, a, in a future episode. Um, and then, like, you can make three substitutes. You can bring on Messi. You can bring on Dalglish. Maybe you bring on uh, another CM. Like, you bring, you bring on Allen or something. Or Paulinho. Uh, and all of a sudden, you've got a, a, a squad that's going to compete. You know, it's going to do half decent in, in rivals games for objectives. So that's why I chose Gelson Martins as the player for my, uh, for my storyline reward for the season two of FIFA 20 Ultimate Team. Um, looking forward to seeing what the players will be like for season three. Hopefully they're a big upgrade because, uh, you know, we grind all season long and if you do make it to level 30, then you've played a fair chunk of this game. I think you should be rewarded with a decent player. Um, so uh, I hope that they, they go up a notch uh, for, for the next season. We'll find out on, you know, tomorrow or Friday or whenever it is. Yeah, we're, we're, we're getting close to it, aren't we? So, I go 1-0 up against this chap, and uh, it was an assist with Roberto Carlos, I'm pretty sure. So, that's good. That means that we, uh, we, we just need a goal with the Brazilian now, and we're, we're, all, we're doing all good. Or, or was it this game that that happened? I can't actually remember my goal, if I'm honest. Uh, I'm pretty sure we end up losing this game. It's coming back to me now. I, I remember this, this Hernandez. Oh, 
for some reason, Baby Hernandez was just driving me up the wall. Um, and I know I've used that phrase already today, but my goodness. It, for some reason, he was just good. Like, my opponent, this this little session here was uh, tagged on to the end of the, the stressful session. Uh, and it was just one of those ones where, like, my opponents were all having 60% possession. I was just genuinely struggling. I miss opportunities like that with a 95 Messi. I just don't understand how it goes so far wide of the post. I really should check my highlights after the game and see where the arrow is because I just believe that I'm hitting them on target uh, and they are just going wide. And that just that just is how FIFA 20 is, right? The shooting uh, we find to be a little bit more broken than, than in previous FIFAs. But then we come up against this. This guy's called Good Luck, and he's got an informed Messi. He's got a 95 Messi, just like me, but uh, I have the Team of the Year version. Uh, and he has a lot of other good players as well. So I was a little bit nervous, you know, that we were going to get yet another strong uh, opponent and a difficult game. But there's a goal from, uh, from Neymar. So there's the goal from a Brazilian. We just need to get ourselves uh, an assist from a Brazilian now. So Neymar's running at this defense. He burber spins inside, knocks it into Paulinho, through balls it back to Neymar, and that is going to be uh, that objective done uh, for for this game. You know, we've got both an assist and a goal with a Brazilian, and we actually got a through ball assist there. Which when we do another one here with Roberto Carlos and score with Dalglish, that is two assists using through balls in the same game. Um, which we've done a few times, and you need to do that three for three matches, uh, and then actually get the win. Uh, and then when that happens, well, at that point, you have unlocked another section for Thiago Mendes. So uh, I spent the rest of this game trying to get another through ball because I didn't think I thought I was at one out of two rather than two out of two. Uh, but we find out afterwards that you know we're all good. We actually, we actually did complete that. Uh, and typical fashion with my rivals' games is that my opponent really gets back into it right at the end. Look at that, though, from Juan Jesus. I wasn't pleased with that. He was so sluggish, and I feel like the game was slowing him down. Like, a normal player can just run there. I feel like I was I was being pulled back so that that Messi could get through. I don't know what it is about that, but that happens far too often, and I don't like it. Um, you know, it just feel like you're running against, like, an invisible wall or something, or something's holding you back. You've got a rope tied around your waist, and someone's pulling it. You're almost like tug of war against yourself. Um, but as you can see, uh, we actually complete the visionary part, which was assist at least two goals using three through uh, using through balls in three separate rivals wins. So we've done that one now. That's probably the hardest part for Thiago Mendes. Um, and, and then we can move on to uh, the next two parts, one of which is squad battles, which we'll do tomorrow. And, uh, and you'll see that in a future episode. Um, but the other one is to just get a couple more games where we get that goal and assist with the Brazilian. So uh, we get ourselves a little gold pack. I can't remember what it was. Gold players pack, I'm pretty sure. Nothing from it, though, which is unfortunate because we're used to packing like Messi's and Hazard's. Where is my luck gone? I I've, it's not good. <laughs> I kid, I kid. Uh, but yeah, we get another sort of 12 players to add to the club. Uh, and then we come up against yet another crazy, crazy squad. Uh, a nice team, but um, at this point it was... You know, people obviously, he's got like an Ivory Coast player in, in Zaha in his squad. So I ended up uh, going 1 0 up and scoring with with uh, with Neymar. And then I let my opponent have a goal so he could get stuff done. Uh, and then he let me get an assist. So we kind of helped each other out. And knowing that I didn't need the win anymore, I just let him have the win in case that he needed the Ivory Coast goals for the wins for uh, for his Gabamin, if that's who he's going for. My next opponent, the same thing. Uh, I actually ended up scoring quite early on. Like He didn't look like he was going to help me out. Um, so I went 1-0 up and then decided, you know what, I'll let him have a goal, see if he wants to knock it through to his Zaha. Uh, and, and he didn't for some reason he just shot with Mendy so I was like oh maybe I shouldn't have done that maybe he just wants to play normally uh, and that's totally fine and then I was like well maybe he doesn't trust me maybe I let him go 2-1 up and then he'll let me get my assist or my goal or whatever it is I need uh, but he didn't he just decided to carry on and and obviously that's my bad um for, for giving two goals away with that when someone just wants to play rivals normally. So at that point, I was like, fine, we'll just play normally. Luckily, I got my goal with Neymar. And um, and actually, I think I was a little bit better than this guy. Uh, I, we out-teamed him a little bit. And, uh, you know, we, we were pretty solid on the ball. And uh, we actually ended up winning this game quite comfortably. Just because we went back to, to trying again. He clearly didn't want to help each other out. so And that's totally fine. If people don't want to do that, then that is completely up to them. Um... 
But yeah, like, you know, he ends up scoring there with Son. So we, we were having a fairly good match. But really, he's only scored one proper goal against me. Uh, we've scored four. We knock it into Messi here. Look at that dribbling from Leo. Uh, and he gets the fifth goal there. Just to just to kind of solidify this one. 5-3 in the end. Uh, um, and we move on. And, and that's, of course, going to be the last uh, goal and assist that we needed with a Brazilian to make the, the next part of Thiago Mendes done. Uh, and all we've got left now is two wins with uh on squad battles with a full league gun squad so i'm gonna have to go out and buy a couple of players they don't have to be first owner uh or maybe we could wait until after our awards tomorrow um because then i'll, I'll probably pack some uh, i'm also thinking about taking tradable rewards because i do or, or maybe coins however i uh, I hate the thought of taking coins, but it would definitely sort me out. Basically, I'm looking to get enough to get that Diego Carlos. Um, but obviously, we are broke at the moment. Uh, so obviously, I'm going to get 30,000 coins from champs. I'm going to get some tradable packs from champs. So we might be able to make a little bit more back there. Uh, but with, when it comes to rivals, if I risked it for untradables and we didn't get anything good, then that's really not any help towards Diego Carlos. Whereas if we took tradables, we could at least sell stuff. Or if we took coins, we would definitely make enough to, to get Diego Carlos. I'll figure it out for tomorrow. I'm sure we'll probably end up doing some sort of packs. I might meet you in the middle and do tradable rewards this week. Uh, and we'll see where we go from there. Uh, just because I do want to make sure I have enough to get that SBC done. I think that road to the final looks like a very good card. And someone that is... Uh, I don't know. We're we're not sure of La Liga centre backs or Brazilian centre backs. Like we're we're pretty good at the moment, but uh, I, I don't really want to miss out on him. I think he could end up being quite a good player the, in the latter stages of the game. So uh, it seems like good value to me. And we could actually like straight swap him out for Juan Jesus right there. But I do like Juan Jesus. I'd almost rather swap him out for Lengle, but uh, then the goalkeeper would be off chemistry. So um, I don't know what we could do. We'll figure it out. There's 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 a few days left of that SBC, so we'll work it out uh, when you know when it comes to it. Uh, but this has been episode number 100. We have worked our way towards Thiago Mendes. Just one more set of challenges to go. Uh, we have unlocked our first Footmas player. And, of course, we have unlocked our storyline player for Season 2. Uh, and as we end Season 2, we end our first 100 episodes. It seems like such a good and fitting area to just say, thank you so much for watching. I now quit... I quit the road to glory. I'm never uploading again. I'll catch you later. Peace. I joke. I joke. I couldn't do that to you guys. I'll see you tomorrow with another episode. <laughs>